So no descriptions, just tell me what you think it is, because it's an intermediate level now, right? So, so I know you guys know how to describe stuff. So what did you guys think this lesion is? Sebacioma. Yeah, I would call it a sebacioma also. It's a nice circumscribed lesion, and it definitely has sebaceous differentiation. Nice vacuolated bubbly cells with lipid vacuoles that indent the nucleus. Sometimes flipping the condenser helps you see them better, like so. And then the majority, over 50% over of the lesion, is made up of these relatively uniform basaloid cells. Um, you can have mitotic activity. In fact, I'd say you usually do. But you shouldn't see pleomorphism or atypical mitoses. That would make me think more of a sebaceous carcinoma. The distinction can be challenging sometimes. And the difference between sebacioma and sebaceous adenoma, as you guys I'm sure know, is that sebacioma is supposed to have more than 50% of these blue basaloid germinative cells um, and less than 50% of the mature vacuolated sebocytes. And sebaceous adenoma is the opposite. It's got a majority of vacuolated sebocytes and um, less than 50% of the blue basaloid cells. I think that distinction is very arbitrary. And to me, sebaceous adenoma and sebacioma are just probably two ends of the same spectrum. So that's the way that I think of it. Okay, that's case one.